two. Okay, he's in for a surprise because there isn't a single Samus in Germany. We're getting into game one of Koyo versus Afro Smash. And like I said, man, you're so excited oh, about I'm everything. I'm so excited. But you know, the, the thing is, the thing is, there isn't a single Samus in Germany. Like they have no Samus experience. But I played one and a half hours of Wi-Fi at Samus versus Koyu Spit today. Right. right but the question the is, is there a, a pit in uh, in Britain? Oh, definitely plastic pop tarts. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm not too familiar. Apologize oh. to plastic pop tarts right now. Uh, I'm sorry, plastic pop tarts, for uh, okay. not knowing you. <laughs> okay. We're joking around here, of course. But uh, yeah. in all reality, <laughs> uh, plastic pop tart is really good. Okay. Yes, there but it anyway, is. Anyway, the charge shot. Punishing the the, the getup. Yeah, I get the really excited about that, you know. I know you do. You're a simple man. I'm a simple man. I love my charge shots. What can I say? But I have seen uh, playing uh, after smash uh, in, in bracket uh, uh, off stream and on stream. Okay. And man, it's crazy. Yeah. The way he sets up for these skills, it's, it's 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 a thing to behold. Of course, there are a couple of tech chase setups you can do with Samus to get the charge shots. You can force a tech chase at higher percent on fast and medium fallers. Uh, using both the middle hit of your F tilt and jab two, and there Ooh, and the up B there it actually is. taking out that suck, and it looked like uh, Koyu had proper DI on that one. Uh, not the best, but it could be worse. Of course, with Samus, sometimes it's best to wait till the moves is finished to see what direction you actually have to go by the eye. Because honestly, when it comes to screw attack, the difference in percentage at which you die between proper DI and bad DI is crazy. Yeah. So now we got Koyu a little bit at deficit. We hasn't, we haven't seen him try to reflect a charge yet, which isn't, you know, too crazy. Since this reflector is probably one of the worst in the game. It's uh, slow on startup. It's slow on end lag. It's overall just not a good look. So now we've got a, a bit of boxing going on. Ooh. Now the craziest part, in my opinion, about. Uh, Koyu's game is his juggles and his ledge trapping, but so far Alpha Smash hasn't really been in the air a whole lot, or at least not above Koyu. Yeah. And he has not been off the stage a whole lot, and as he tries to run up. That's so crazy how he catches people with that charge. Yeah, it's you know, so slow, but. The, the thing about the charge was, you know, he fired it at a height that it would not go on stage. So yeah. Koyu was like, okay, he's too low, he's not gonna fire it. Mm -hmm. But then he did it anyway. And that's just great awareness by Afro Smash. I think Zare is probably the least reliable tech chase setup for Samus. And uh, what I've noticed on Wi-Fi versus Koyu is that uh, Pit doesn't hit the ground before he can act. So he can actually activate the reflector Oof. out of getting Zare. Oh, there and it is! Even at that of a distance, he still manages yeah. to connect the charge shot. Even though Koyu hasn't been using a whole lot of arrows. Yeah. And the thing it's is like he knew this once. When this you land it this frequently, this consistently, it's not luck. No, it's this, it, this is not luck, boy. This is definitely not luck. Because you might call it a luck shot, but that wasn't. This is Afro Smash. Getting four thrown by Koyu. <laughs> Of course, uh, <laughs> yeah. Smashville has actually the tightest blast zones on the side. Mm -hmm. So you die sooner of the side of Smashville than you would any other stage, even if it weren't for the crazy platform. Okay, now we see where Koyu shines, working him off stage, working him into a corner. But he gives up so much stage control. He, fortunately for him, he goes back in, and now he is out of Smash in the jungle situation. He has him at the ledge, this is where he wants him. But why does he give him so much space, though? Oh, Ooh, actually, catches him with that oh, up smash. And we all know how inconsistent the up smash from Samus can be, but uh, right there, perfect opportunity. Oh, and th th that's, that's that uh, inexperience you were talking about coming into play. Because anyone playing against the Samus regular regularly would know that the up air has basically no lag. Basically so no lag, yeah. Samus can do anything out of it, and her super fast. F smash is a great opportunity to punish that unawareness. Yeah, like I did use it a bit against him, but honestly, one and a half hours of Wi Fi versus a mid level Samus, I uh, just can't compare to living in the same region as a good Samus, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Afro Smash definitely lives in the same region as a good pit. The thing is, though, what I, I, I think Koyu is playing a little bit too afraid. Like, pit has good speed, he has a decent dash grab. And Samus, in my opinion, loses when you force her into a corner and yeah, you make her box with you. Yeah. 
I, I want to see Koyu playing a little bit more aggressive. Which but uh, right I do now. have to say, Samus forces herself into the corner sometimes. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, that's just good for you. That's what you want him. And I'd like to see him just not give up so much space when Afro Smash is at the ledge. Yeah. Because often when Afro Smash is covered and uh, Koyu picks an option or two to trap him at the ledge. And if it doesn't work, then he just runs away, even if he's still in the advantageous position. That's what I've noticed. And I think he needs to push his luck more, basically. Ooh. And what is he trying to accomplish with that smart bomb by the ledge? Oh, well, there's a, a basic setup, you know? You, you drop it at the ledge while your opponent is uh, trying to recover from the ledge. Yeah. They do normal getup, they stand in the bomb and fall off and you can reset. Right. Or they stand in the bomb, they uh, put the shield up and you can break it with a charge shot. Yeah. And if they roll on, you can again punish it with a charge shot from the same distance. So basically the only 100% Safe option to do right there from the ledge versus a stationary Samus in a good position is to jump. Yeah. But when you remember the game versus Mark Breeze we saw earlier, when Afro Smash uh, puts a bomb by the ledge, he is definitely prepared to punish that condition to jump from the ledge with a neutral air. Oh, okay. that will get punished. So you go with a down on. smash. Yeah. I don't think that was the best option. You could have F smash right there. F smash. Not sure if it would have killed because it would have been sour spot. But the down smash will certainly not kill. However, it's good damage. Put some stage. So it, it's an excellent smash. Oh, and again catches onto the rolling. The over reflectors and over. have not been coming out. It's another thing I was doing to Koyo, uh, Koyo on Wi-Fi, and in my case he reflected a couple of times, but I, I haven't seen him go for the reflect once. Maybe after Smash is just more tricky. Okay, and the up air is still not killing. No, Pit's aerials are pretty bad for killing, honestly. They can be pretty decent for uh, okay. gimping, but honestly only the back air has real kill power. Great on that, uh, on that <laughs> air dodge. And he tried to take it all with the reverse dodge okay. shot. Base for it with the stock. Okay, this is where Koyu shines. The juggles, the juggles, the chases and the juggles. That is exactly what he needs to be doing. He is respecting the Morval Bomb way too much. And there isn't an active hitbox until it explodes, so you can basically run through it. Now I see Avro Smash, when he is a little bit in the air, maybe trying to land, he drops a Morval Bomb to kind of, you know, scare Koyu and force space between them. Mm -hmm. But honestly, Koyu should just not be respecting the Morval Bomb at all. Except, of course, when there's a ledge trap. But when it's just being thrown out there on stage, you know, it's a nice little bit of a movement mix up for Samus, but you really don't need to respect Bomb itself. If that was a fully charged, no doubt it would have hit. But of course, the uh, lesser charged charge shots actually are also slower in speed. Right, okay, I did not know that. They definitely are. They're slower in travel speed than a fully charged shot. And they gradually go faster. Great awareness, not shooting right there. And it looks like Koyu's more... Oh, he air dodged! That's the option How you many never want to take. Of the, one, uh, of the ones he has taken, has he landed? Pretty much. I, I, I think almost all his stocks have been charged off. Yeah! Almost all of them. I've seen an F smash and a uh, screw attack and the rest was all charged off. And Koyu was in the lead too. And now he needs to find a kill move. And Pit also kind of struggles with kill setups in my opinion. Mm -hmm. If he cannot trick Afro yeah, Smash. Yeah, he doesn't have re reliable setups. Yeah, if he cannot trick him with the super armor on the side B, if he cannot catch him shielding at the ledge, mm -hmm. then it's gonna be a difficult for Pit to kill. There Ooh, it is, we see risky. him going for the Smash sticks. Power shields all around. Go you, great ledge jump. No invincibility. Yeah, and that was ballsy. Afro Smash at the ledge again. There it is. Summons 8th heaviest in the game, not even dying to a 4th throw right now. Up air, almost taking the stop with bad DI. Ooh, great DI this time from Koyu. And Koyu, hang on to the skin of his teeth. A lot of rolls coming out from Afro Smash. Because he, yeah, he's down the game. This is his, possibly his last stock. Yeah, he's definitely on the, the stock right now. Screw attack, we'll catches him with the DI mix it. up. Yeah, all that because of Rage.